Welcome back. So this lesson we're going to try and work with what if I don't want to do the changes that I actually did. And I'm going to show you two scenarios. One is a git checkout, the other is git revert. And we're going to do it in the desktop client. So first of all, let's say that we have um, this beautiful system that we're building. The calculator here, it has um, the history where we have uh, two files. Let's just change file number three again, this guy. So I'm going to change that into life is awesome and let's just uh, remove this. I didn't want that anyway. So I'll save it and I'm going back and now you'll see that, oh my God, you just removed the line. So now it's only I like chocolate and a beer now and then. The rest is gone. What if I don't want to do this anyway? I just changed my mind, but let's just play around with the thought. This is a huge file with uh, maybe 500 lines I've changed since last time and I don't want to sit down now and go through each line and say Oh man, what did I actually add and what did I not add and what did I remove? So instead you can just right click here and say discard changes and it'll actually go back to the previous version of the file Because I haven't committed anything yet. So that's the easiest way to do it. Remember this is just How does it actually look on the hard disk right now? Not how does it look in the version right now? I know that's Comple complex to comprehend, but that's what you have to understand. Right now, it's not been added as something I want to add in the next version, so I can just discard the changes. Just like saying I'm just going back to the version before. That's all I'm doing here. Discard changes is the same as the checkout command, and I'll show you in the next lesson where I do that with the terminal. So I'll discard the changes, everything is gone. If I just reopen my file here, you'll see that now. Life is awesome is actually back. Whew. Everything I just saved is back. Whew. That's good. But what if I actually want to commit it? Okay, I'll save it again. And now I'm coming back because it was what I wanted to commit. So now it's back here. It says I've removed the life is awesome line. And this time I'll do the commit. Life is not awesome anymore. So that's the commit I'm doing. I'm doing a, a commit now. So now it's actually stored in a new version. Look. Here it can now say life is awesome is actually gone. And if I open the document again, you'll see that life is awesome line has vanished. But now life is awesome again. So I want to go back to the previous version where life is awesome was actually there. Now I cannot do that from where I'm at right now because I cannot go in here like I did before and say, I cannot right click here and say check out. I cannot right click and say discard changes. So I have to revert back to a previous version. You do that simply by clicking this guy and just clicking revert. So these are the changes that I want to revert. I don't want them anyway. I want life is awesome to come back to my file. So I'll just click revert here and actually it does two things. I'll show you in the next lesson. It actually reverts the things and does a commit. So now I'm back and if I open my file again now, Life is awesome has just returned. So, yep, guess what? My life is awesome again. So that's how you do the revert in the terminal. It looks simple, but there's actually a lot of commands that's being fired behind the scenes. So I'm going to try and show in the terminal next how that actually happens. But think of this as a way for you to go back to previous versions of your files or even just change local changes before you've even committed them to a new version. See you in the next lesson where we'll try and do the same in the terminal.